I'm Rob Sargent uh, from Environment America. Uh, we're working on this really cool project called uh, Voices for 100% Renewable. It is a project uh, designed to show the range of people from everyday Americans to um, experts to community leaders who believe we can and must move to 100% renewable energy. We absolutely are invested in seeing the shift to uh, a new energy economy. We need to push for energy that we like to call kids safe and climate safe. This is impacting the ability of people to live and survive everywhere. We have a responsibility to care for creation. Solar and wind power is going to be lower in cost over time uh, than coal, gas, and oil because the fuel is free. I think everybody appreciates the elegance of this technology. I mean, think about how amazing it is that you can have a panel on your roof that takes the sun's rays and directly turns them into the energy that you need. As parents, we're hardwired to protect our kids, to keep them safe, and fighting climate change is part of our job description now, and that means pressing hard for solutions. Coal-fired power plants are disproportionately located in communities of color and low-income communities, particularly African-American communities. 68% uh, of African-Americans live within 30 miles of a coal-fired power plant. The types of emissions that come out of coal-fired power plants are known exacerbators of asthma. We gotta pass some laws. The electric power, I've been in the electric power business most of my life. Utilities tend to resist change unless they're forced to do so. And then when they're forced to do so, they make it happen. The great uh, Stanford scientist, Mark Jacobson and his team have now done the calculations for every country on the planet and demonstrated that by 2030, we can be running on renewable energy at affordable cost almost everywhere. In the absence of federal leadership, and sadly that's where we are right now, cities can take the lead. And so it's time for parents to bring our kids and hit City Hall. And cities across America are standing up to say, we will keep up the fight. This is a, an opportunity for the electric power industry to actually save the earth, if you want to put it bluntly. We still have the power to act locally. And when we use that power together, we can meet any challenge. We can deliver on the promise of America's renewable energy future.